Here we go. God bless you. A blessed Friday, or Friday, Monday. It feels like a Friday. A Monday to everyone. For those of you who watch this on YouTube after I finish Facebook and I get it up on YouTube, I apologize for the delay recently. Facebook is not blocking me from doing this, but they don't allow me to download it for like 24 to 48 hours to put it back up on the next platform. I'm not sure why, but that is why my posts have been delayed recently. So I just did Friday's post. Um, but the Lord works, right, in mysterious ways. So I'm happy to be back here. Yesterday was the Feast of Christ the King. And I thought that I would bring these two statues here to pray with us as we do our rosary today. This one is a beautiful image of Christ the King. I got it from Spain, from a church that closed in Spain. And Christ is the King, and yet he's taken his crown off and he's laid it at his feet. Because he's a king that serves, right? He's a king that ended up giving up his life. And I brought here this um, image of the infant of Prague. This also is an image where Christ as a child is wearing a crown. Normally there's a cross here on the top of his crown. It's missing because it's also antique. <laughs> but we know that... Um, he was a king even as a child, and he won that kingship through his suffering, right? And I thought we could meditate on what is this king, right, um, who we remembered yesterday as we prayed today, because we are asking his help through this prayer of the rosary. We're asking Our Lady to present to him our king, all of our intentions, and he's a king that does not reign, you know, in a way that most human kings reign, right? You could look at presidents or, or um, people high up in authority, often they are competitive. They want to make those under them feel their own power or superiority or importance, right? And that Christ, he was so humble. Even as a baby, he was our king that served through love, right? Um, I think of that song that we sing, the king of love my shepherd is, right? He is the good shepherd that gives up his own life, his body, his, um, his happiness on earth right, with the people who he loves in order to save us from hell. He left his mother. He left his disciples. He left all of those who hadn't turned on him, right? And he allowed his enemies to destroy the gift of his love um, in a human way, and yet divine love conquered, and he resurrected all of that destruction, right, that we see in his body and his wounds on the cross. And Christ is a king whose kingship was mocked. We think about the crown of thorns and how um, his enemies mocked the authority that was rightfully given to him by God. Often when we look at the lives of the saints, they're mocked. The predilection that the Father has for them um, is a source of envy of others, right? People get envious or jealous of the saints. And so um, they turn against them to destroy them. And that's just a little image of what happened to Christ. I was reading here before I came live um, some of the stories from the mystic saints on the infancy of Christ and I was reading about the flight into Egypt and how Herod hated Christ and um, how they fled and it was because he felt threatened right 
So we see the depth of love of Christ our King in his littleness and his glorious power in heaven. And we turn to him and trust. We know that to the degree that he has power over us, he has an equal amount of love. And he desires for that power to be of service to us, to bring solutions to our problems and protection from evil and um, joy in the midst of sadness. And so we want to present to him all of our own intentions, our needs, our problems, and the problems of the world. We remember in a special way our lady's intentions. She asked for us to pray for the conversion of Russia we pray for our projects in Russia, for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart throughout the whole world, for peace, for peace in the Ukraine and the Middle East and Israel and Palestine and Sudan. We pray for protection and peace for all of the people we serve, the hundreds of thousands of people through the work of the Fiat Foundation that I run. We pray for the children of the cross and the people that we've helped in Pakistan and Afghanistan and India and the Philippines in Nigeria and the Cameroon and Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Nicaragua, Mexico, Colombia. We pray here in the United States and we pray for the hierarchy of the church. We pray for the priests and the seminarians here. We ask the Lord to bear powerful fruit through these prayer groups of the Children of the Cross and of, um, through the work of my books, right? We pray for donations for the Fiat Foundation. We pray for all of those who are ill. We pray for the elderly. We pray for those facing life debilitating conditions, degenerative issues. We pray for those with autoimmune issues. We pray for those who, um, are longing to conceive, those who've lost children, those longing to adopt or foster children and to foster families. We pray for an end to abortion and euthanasia. We pray for the protection of all life and the preservation of marriage. We pray in a special way for children who suffer for the abuse, the physically and mentally, emotionally, spiritually um, disturbed neglected, the trafficked. We pray for children who are ill. We pray for Levi and Charlie, for Liam, for Jonathan and Colton and Calvin and Aubrey, for Cecilia and Colette, Sophia, Michael and Lincoln, baby Mateo, baby Nora, baby Joseph, baby Vianney, baby Miriam. We pray for those who are longing for work those who are struggling in their um, workplaces with unjust conditions or um, those who are struggling to provide for their families. We ask the Lord to provide financially for all of those who have needs like this. We pray for a family that's written me and the father's handicapped and the mother is only it's part-time work. She homeschools the five and they're in a dire need of a home. We ask the Lord to do a miracle today to provide them with a healthy, safe home. Everyone deserves a home. We pray in a special way for those discerning things in life, um, those discerning schools, young people discerning their vocation, jobs, moves, things like that. We pray for those in the work of education. I pray for the needs of my doctoral work. We pray for all the needs of the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross, and the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer. We pray for our families, our friends, our benefactors. We pray for a healing of division, those who've left the church, those who are unrepentant and unforgiving. We pray for those who are bitter. We pray for those who are caught in a life of sin, those in need of conversion. We pray for peace, for humility, for purity, for truth, for a deeper presence of prayer in this world, especially amongst the young. And we pray for all of the intentions of the sacred heart of Jesus Christ, our little King. 
and for his mother's intentions. And on Mondays, we always pray to the Holy Spirit, like we will between the mysteries. And as we're finishing up the month of um, November, we'll remember the souls in purgatory as well. So we have lots of intentions. But Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name, for all the desires of your sacred heart, in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart, and our final union with you in heaven, amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray in a special way for their intentions, their physical and spiritual protection, for their conversion. We pray in a special way for humility and integrity, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage and fortitude, mercy, generosity, justice, and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen for an increase of hope hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen for an increase of love charity and conversion hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we pray the joyful mysteries on this Monday. And the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. And in this mystery, we meditate on how Our Lady conceived the infant king of the universe in her womb simply by saying yes to the plan of God. The word of God could be made flesh as the infant king. He already reigned the first throne that he had on earth. He already reigned from was her heart and her womb. Imagine the immensity of purity, of dignity, of humility that her womb and her 
heart contained to be the throne of God. Each time we receive the Eucharist, we are given that same gift to allow little Jesus Christ, the King, to reign from within us. Let's imagine in this mystery the little infant Christ reigning from inside of us the light of the world coming through our eyes and our mouths, our minds, so that we have the mind of Christ, our actions, our words. We pray that we may be a worthy throne of Christ the way Our Lady was. We ask the Holy Spirit to create this worthy throne for Christ within us as he created it within Our Lady. We pray, Holy Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who is equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire of mercy on us, ardent charity of mercy on us, spiritual unction of mercy on us. And in this mystery, we continue to do that act of charity to pray for the souls in purgatory this November. And in this decade, we pray in a special way for our parents and grandparents, brothers and sisters, and all other relatives. And then, my Jesus, have mercy. And godparents, sponsors, and confirmation spiritual and temporal benefactors, and them, my Jesus, have mercy, and friends, neighbors, and parishioners, and them, my Jesus, have mercy, and on all for whom love or duty bids us to pray, and them, my Jesus, have mercy. The Annunciation, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of a powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. In this mystery, we see how the little king, Jesus, was already reigning from within Our Lady. And as Our Lady spoke to and embraced her cousin Elizabeth, baby Jesus reached out and he baptized John the Baptist. And he enlightened the world. John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She understood that Our Lady was expecting the Savior of the world. And both Elizabeth and the Blessed Mother sang a great canticle to heaven. They sang praises of the work that God was doing in, in the world. Elizabeth said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Blessed are you who believed what the Lord had promised would be fulfilled. It's easy to believe something um, when we see it, right? Or when it's, um, it's visible in front of us, the possibility of that to be done. So a little child looks at her, you know, her, her big strong daddy who said, don't worry, you know, I'll make sure that you get what you want for dinner tonight for your birthday. Or I'll be able to move, you know, something really heavy across the room to his wife. It's easy to believe you've got a strong, loving man that you see with that strength, that power, promising it. But with God, we have the strongest, the most powerful person, not just providing us with physical food or or help in our daily lives, but who is in control of everything. But we don't see him. We have to have those eyes of faith. And sometimes he blesses us with moments where we are so sure through the graces given to us of the presence of God that it's not hard to believe or trust. But most times it's dark, it's obscure. We just have a word whispered in the darkness. Mary had the word that came through the mouth of Gabriel, and then the angel left, and she was left in the world. And yet, she was blessed because she believed. She believed that God continued to be loving and to be strong and to be mighty and powerful with a plan, even when she didn't see it right away, right? God always unfolds things slowly. So it's so beautiful to see this in the mystery of the visitation, Our Lady's faith, Elizabeth's faith. And Mary doesn't even take credit of this faith. What does she do? She magnifies God and his great plan for the world. She says, my soul magnifies the Lord, proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Our Lady is the one person who never looked at the graces that God gave to her. She always magnified him, right? In her lowliness, he was able to do greatness. So in this mystery, we pray for that gift of faith in the midst of obscurity. We pray that we may always just magnify the Lord, proclaim his greatness. And we pray that we may always believe his promises, that 
we don't doubt his power and his love and his plan, not only for our individual lives, but for the church as a whole, for the world as a whole. Holy Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of modesty and chastity and purity and innocence, have mercy on us. And we pray for the souls that have died, especially remembering those who have suffered disadvantage or harm through me or my family, my loved ones. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who have offended me and my family and loved ones, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those whose release is near at hand, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who desire most to be united to thee, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who endure the greatest sufferings, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those whose release is most remote, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who are least remembered, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who are most deserving on account of their services to the church, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. The visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagada ti polnaya gaspot staboyu, Blagoslavienna ti mjezda žonami i Blagoslavien plučreva tvajeva usus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Melisa nas grishni, Nimi v čas smirti naši, amen, Polish. Strovaš Maria, waski pełna pan s tabo, Bogosławionaš ti między nevestami, i bogosławioni ova čevota tvajego Jezus. Šventa Maria, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami křešnimi, teraz je v godzina i šmirti naši, amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e l'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya, gaspot staboi, blagoslavienna timiesh dejonami, i blagoslavien placereva tvajevo isus. Svetaya Maria, mater boja, malisa nas grishni, nini vcas mirti nashi, amen, polish. Strovash Maria waski pauna pan staba, bogoslavjona shtimien zanavastami, i bogoslavjoni ovat shivata tvejego Jezus. Shventa Maria matka boža mudlše zanami kšešnimi, teraz i v godzina i šmirči naši amen spanish. Dios te salve Maria, jena res de gracia, el Senor es contigo. Bendita tu eres, entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Atalia. 
Ave Maria, piena de grazia, el Signore con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Lerte. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, frutus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Gloria, Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancta, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula, secula, amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third joyful mystery is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. And as I was reading and praying this morning about the birth of the Christ child, what struck me is, as this infant king of heaven and earth, he chose to be poor. He saw that the riches of this world are nothing. They will never satisfy you. I have worked for the richest of the rich, and I have lived among and served the poorest of the poor in the world. Not an exaggeration. On either end. And the poor are happy because they love, and the rich are not because they fail to see that possessions do not satisfy the heart. Only God does, right? A life that's single-heartedly focused on the Lord. Christ came as the King of heaven and earth. All power and glory and honor belonged to him, and yet he was born in a stable outside. He had dirt floors. They didn't have enough food. They didn't have enough um, warmth when they fled into Egypt. They, you know, lived a life depraved of everything. Looked down upon and mocked. And yet the Holy Family was happy because their love warmed them. Their love fed them. Christ said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth. In this mystery, we pray for the conversion of the wealthy. You can be holy and be wealthy if you give all of your wealth to helping others and not serving yourself, right? But that's very, very rare. Usually the wealthy need our prayers so that they are unbound from their possessions, from a desire for more and more and more, right? So we pray for them and we pray for those who are legitimately in need, like the family that needs a home I spoke of. We think of the starving. We think of the orphans we serve in Ethiopia. We think of um, those who don't have money for um, the education of their children, right? We pray for those who are struggling in their vocations, priests, religious sisters, those who are called to a life of of prayer and contemplation like a hermit, right? We ask the Lord to provide for those physically, to provide physically for those who provide spiritually for the whole world, right? And we ask for hearts that are tempered with that poverty of spirit, like our Lord, that through our own humility and, um, and poverty of heart, that God may reign as everything in this world, right? In our world, that we can be rich in divine love, rich in virtue. Holy Spirit, 
the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. And we continue to pray for the souls in purgatory. They are also the most poor because they cannot pray for themselves, right? And so we pray for them. We ask them to pray for us. And we remember in a special way the rich who are now in purgatory, the most destitute. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the mighty who are now powerless, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the once spiritually blind who now see their folly, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the frivolous who spent their time in idleness, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the poor who did not seek the treasures of heaven, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the tepid who devoted little time to prayer, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the indolent who neglected to perform good works, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those of little faith who neglected the frequent reception of the sacraments, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. And on habitual sinners who owe their salvation to a miracle of grace, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. The birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay or daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, excuse me, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, 
save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery is a presentation in the temple. As Our Lady and St. Joseph presented Jesus in the temple, they knew he was the savior of the world. They knew that he was the king of the universe. Yet he, they also knew that the world didn't know this. And when Simeon took the baby in his arms, the Holy Spirit revealed to him the destiny of the Christ child, that he would be for the rise and the fall of many, a sign to be contradicted. He would be a king but a king who would serve and reign through giving his own life, right? Through allowing his hands and feet to be pierced with nails, to be mocked and rejected and betrayed, abandoned, calumniated. It's because of his suffering and his perfect divine love his resignation to the will of the Father, his forgiveness, that we see the greatest glory that he has, right? A love that isn't tested by suffering isn't authentic love. Well, it can be, but it can be wrapped up in feelings, right? A love, let's say it this way, that has been tested by suffering is the strongest of loves, right? So in this mystery, we pray that we may be found worthy by God to not only love him and belong to him, but to reign with him through being united to him, not only in his glory and in his kingship, but also on the cross. Simeon continued and said to Our Lady, you yourself a sword will pierce, so the thoughts of many hearts would be revealed. To the degree Our Lady loved Christ is the degree she would suffer with him. She was the queen, right? But the queen of suffering, not only the queen of glory and of love. In this mystery, we pray that we're worthy subjects and children of Our Lady and Christ the King. We pray that we may have the depth of humility that Christ had. To be willing to suffer for not only those who we love, but those who persecute us. We pray that the plan of the Father may conquer in our lives the way that it did in the resurrection. And we trust that no matter what difficulties or persecutions that we face in the world, we trust that God always wins. And this king of ours who laid down his crown at his feet in order to reign with a heart on fire with love and crucified, that he'll provide, that he will be faithful to his promises, that he will help us become and remain faithful to all that the Lord asks of us. So we pray for all of this in this mystery. We ask the help of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasure of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. And we continue to pray for the souls in purgatory in this mystery. We remember parents who failed to watch over their children or provide for them physically, emotionally, spiritually. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. On superiors who are not solicitous for the salvation of those entrusted to them. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. 
on those who strove for worldly riches and pleasures and fame. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. On the worldly minded who failed to use their wealth and talent for the service of God. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who witnessed the death of others but would not think of their own. On them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those who did not provide for the life hereafter, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. On those whose sentence is severe because of the great things entrusted to them, on them, my Jesus, have mercy. The presentation in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radu sia Maria, blagada ti polnaya, gaspot staboya, blagaslavienna ti nezdežonami, I blagoslavien plodšreva tvajevo Isus, svetaja Marija, Mater Boža, malisena skrišni, nini i včas smirti naši amen poleš, strovaš Marija vaski pevna pan s tebom, bogoslavionaš ti mjenzena vesnami, i bogoslavioni ovo čevota tvajego Jezus, Shventa Maria Matka Boja, Mudosha Zanami Shishnemi, Perasif Gojina Ishmir Gina Shi Amen Spanish. Dios de Salve Maria, Yena Reis de Grazia El Senores Contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores. Ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadores. Adesso, en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagada ti polnaya, gaspot staboya, blagoslavien na ti mjeshto shonami, i blagoslavien plecereva tvajevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisana Skrishni, Nini Vcha Smirti Nashi Amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, Waski Pauna, Pan Stabo, Boga Swavionash Timian Zanevastami, I Boga Swavioni, Ova Chavota Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Mudlshe Zanami Kshishnemi, Teras Ivgojina, I Shmirti Nashi Amen, Spanish. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, i benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, 
Er is secular, secular in my mouth. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding in the temple. This joyful mystery begins with sorrow. It begins with Mary and Joseph losing Christ. And sometimes we don't understand why the Lord allows bad things to happen, especially to really good people, right? But Mary and Joseph were the holiest people that ever lived next to Jesus himself. And the Lord allowed them to lose him in the temple to stretch their hearts so that they would be more capable of love. It's really hard to understand and it's really hard to go through, right? We all know that God has a plan for our lives. Sometimes we're, you know, like, why won't he just do it? <laughs> but because every breath that we take while we wait in joyful hope, right? In Mass, it says we're waiting in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Not only at the end of time. In our own lives, we are waiting for him to rule as Christ the King. And as we breathe and we wait and our heart beats, we're growing faith and hope and love. Trust in our God. We're growing humility because we see our own weakness that we don't have an answer in and of ourselves. We see our utter dependence on God. And our desire to do only his will is purified, right? And we see how Christ in the temple answered his parents in a way that grew their heart, right? What did he say? Did you not know that I had to be in my father's house? Even as a child, Jesus knew he, who he belonged to. He knew that he loved God the Father even more than Mary and Joseph. And he knew he belonged to him. And he knew his answer was not understandable to his earthly parents. And it says that they in humility accepted this and they pondered it. They pondered it. In this mystery, we pray for all of those in the world who are in a quandary. They can be big world leaders or they can be, you know, little um, teenagers discerning God's will for their lives in a vocation or a college choice, right? They can be big decisions or little. But we pray that all those who are discerning the will of God may truly seek to know God's will, right? And that they may be open to listening to it, that they may come to know it, to love it beyond their own will, and then to do it courageously. We pray for an increase in trust that God has a plan that he will provide. We pray for an increase in a willingness to fulfill whatever he asks. We pray for a love that's so powerful that all fear is cast out. We pray for the courage to go forth in darkness. And that while we wait on him, that we're filled with joy and peace. That we can spread light to others, even in the midst of our own darkness. And we pray for all of those in the world who despair because they feel like they've lost God. They don't even know it half the time, right? They're looking in riches and and power, and glory, and entertainment, and all sorts of drugs, sometimes alcohol. We pray that they may find their answer in the Lord. We pray for all of these intentions. 
Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. And we pray for all of the souls in purgatory. We pray, especially in this mystery, for popes, kings, presidents, bishops, rulers, right? I guess bishops is the next one. And then may Jesus have mercy on bishops and their counselors. And then may Jesus have mercy on teachers and spiritual advisors. And then may Jesus have mercy on priests and religious of the Catholic Church. And then may Jesus have mercy and defenders of the holy faith, and them may Jesus have mercy, and those who died on the battlefield and fought for their country, and them may Jesus have mercy, and those who were buried in the sea, and them may Jesus have mercy, and those who died of apoplexy, and them may Jesus have mercy, and those who died of heart attacks and strokes, and from autoimmune conditions, and them may Jesus have mercy, and those who suffered and died of cancer and degenerative disorders, and them may Jesus have mercy. And those who died with dementia and Alzheimer's, and them may Jesus have mercy. And those who died suddenly in accidents or from plagues, and them may Jesus have mercy. And those who died without the last rites of the church, and them may Jesus have mercy. And those who will die in the next 24 hours, and them may Jesus have mercy. And on my own poor soul, when I will have to appear before the judgment seat, on me, my Jesus, have mercy. Oops, the finding in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. After this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech thee that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so proud before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me for your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o princess of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us near, ever this day be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We pray for the souls that have died. We pray for those in our families, our friends, our benefactors, those who we've worked for, those who've lived in our homes, our neighborhoods, our parishes, those who've asked our prayers, and those who need them the most. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen.
St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, the preaching of apostles, the faith of confessors, the innocence of holy virgins, and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ has shielded me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation, debt and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, against retaliation, violence, fits, false accusation, profanity, immodesty, unchastity, impurity, fear and worry, misunderstanding and confusion, manipulation, despair, discouragement, unrepentance, unforgiveness, jealousy, laziness, self-pity, self-absorption, competition, blocking, division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, pride, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me or those for whom I pray, so that there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ am I right, Jesus Christ am I left, Jesus Christ, when I lie down, Jesus Christ, when I sit down, Jesus Christ, when I arise, Jesus Christ, in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ, in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ, in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ, in every ear that hears me, I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And on Mondays, we pray to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosom, shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcomed guest, Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of thine and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not, nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stain of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. 
Give them virtue, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joy that never ends. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul, and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace. And I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth the spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge that I may know God myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. And we pray St. Augustine's prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend what is holy. Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. St. Alphonsus Liguori's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, divine consoler, I adore you as my true God, with God the Father and God the Son. I adore you and unite myself to the adoration you receive from the angels and the saints. I give you my heart and I offer my ardent thanksgiving for all of the grace which you never cease to bestow on me. O giver of all supernatural gifts, who filled the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with such immense favors, I beg you to visit me with your grace and your love and to grant me the gift of holy fear, that it may act on me as a check to prevent me from falling back into my past sins, for which I beg pardon. Grant me the gift of piety, that I may serve you for the future with increased fervor, follow with more promptness your holy inspirations, and observe your divine precepts with greater fidelity. Grant me the gift of knowledge, that I may know the things of God, and enlightened by your holy teaching, may walk without deviation in the path of eternal salvation. Grant me the gift of fortitude that I may overcome courageously all the assaults of the devil and all the dangers of the world that threaten the salvation of my soul. Grant me the gift of counsel that I may choose what is most conductive to my spiritual advancement and I may discover the wiles and snares of the tempter. Grant me the gift of understanding that I may apprehend the divine mysteries and by contemplation of heavenly things, detach my thoughts and affections from the vain things of this miserable world. Grant me the gift of wisdom, that I may rightly direct all of my actions, referring them to God as my last end, so that having loved him and served him in this life, 
I may have the happiness of possessing him eternally in the next. A prayer to the Holy Spirit by Cardinal Mercier. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, and console me. Tell me what I should do and give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. And prayer for the help of the Holy Spirit by Anthony of Padua. O oh God, send forth your Holy Spirit into my heart that I may perceive, into my mind that I may remember, and into my soul that I may meditate. Inspire me to speak with piety, holiness, tenderness, and mercy. Teach, guide, and direct my thoughts and senses from beginning to the end. May your grace ever help and correct me, and may I be strengthened now with wisdom from on high for the sake of your infinite mercy. Amen. And as we have this beautiful image of the infant of Prague, who is our king, we will pray a prayer to the infant of Prague by Venerable Father Surreal. O divine infant Jesus, I have recourse to thee. Please, through thy blessed mother, assist me in my necessity. And now you can mention your necessity. Because I firmly believe that thy divinity can help me, I hope with confidence to obtain thy holy grace. I love thee with all of my heart and all of my strength of soul. I repent sincerely of my sins and I beg thee, good Jesus, infant of Prague, to grant me the strength to triumph over them. I resolve never more to offend thee and I come to offer myself to thee with the intention of enduring everything rather than displeasing thee. Henceforth, I desire to serve thee with fidelity, and for the love of thee, O divine infant, I will love my neighbor as myself. All-powerful infant of Prague, my Jesus, I implore thee again, assist me in thy need, in this need. Grant me the grace of possessing thee eternally with Mary and Joseph, and of adoring thee with the angels in the heavenly court. Amen. And lastly, we'll pray the litany of the holy name of Jesus as we honor him as our king. We ask that he may hear our prayers, look at us with mercy, and to provide for us. Lord of mercy on us, Christ of mercy on us, Lord of mercy on us. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven of mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world of mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, of mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, of mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the living God, of mercy on us. Jesus, splendor of the Father, of mercy on us. Jesus, brightness of eternal light, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of glory, of mercy on us. Jesus, Son of justice, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Virgin Mary, of mercy on us. Jesus, most amiable, of mercy on us. Jesus, most admirable, of mercy on us. Jesus, mighty God, of mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the world to come, of mercy on us. Jesus, angel of great counsel, of mercy on us. Jesus, most powerful, of mercy on us. Jesus, most patient, have mercy on us. Jesus, most obedient, have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of chastity, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of us, have mercy on us. Jesus, God of peace, have mercy, mercy on us. Jesus, author of all life, have mercy on us. Jesus, example of virtues, have mercy on us. Jesus, zealous lover of souls, have mercy on us. Jesus, our God, have mercy on us. Jesus, our refuge, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the poor, have mercy on us. Jesus, treasure of the faithful, have mercy on us. Jesus, good shepherd, have mercy on us. Jesus, true light, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal wisdom, have mercy on us. Jesus, infinite goodness, have mercy on us. Jesus, our way and our life, have mercy on us. 
Jesus, joy of the angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of the patriarchs, have mercy on us. Jesus, Master of the apostles, have mercy on us. Jesus, Teacher of the evangelists, have mercy on us. Jesus, Strength of the martyrs, have mercy on us. Jesus, Light of confessors, have mercy on us. Jesus, Purity of virgins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Crown of all saints, have mercy on us. Be merciful, Spirit, O Jesus. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Jesus. From all evil, deliver us, O Jesus. From all sin, deliver us, O Jesus. From your wrath, deliver us, O Jesus. From the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Jesus. From the spirit of fornication, deliver us, O Jesus. From everlasting death, deliver us, O Jesus. From the neglect of your inspirations, deliver us, O Jesus. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, deliver us, O Jesus. By your nativity, deliver us, O Jesus. By your infancy, deliver us, O Jesus. By your most divine life, deliver us, O Jesus. By your labor, deliver us, O Jesus. By your agony and passion, deliver us, O Jesus. By your cross and dereliction, deliver us, O Jesus. By your suffering, deliver us, O Jesus. By your death and burial, deliver us, O Jesus. By your resurrection, deliver us, O Jesus. By your ascension, deliver us, O Jesus. By your institution of the Most Holy Eucharist, deliver us, O Jesus. By your joy, deliver us, O Jesus. By your glory, deliver us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, you have said, ask and you'll receive. Seek and you'll find. Knock and it'll be open to you. Grant, we beg of you, to us who ask it, the gift of your most divine love that we may ever love you with our whole heart in word and deed and never cease praising you. Give us, O Lord, a much, a, as much a lasting fear as a lasting love of your holy name. For you who live and are king forever and ever, never fail to govern those whom you have sincerely established in your love. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and heart, sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, excuse me. Pray for us, all you holy angels and martyrs and saints. Pray for us, all you holy souls in purgatory. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia. Thank you for praying with me. And as we prepare for Advent this weekend starting, um, I pray that you can really meditate on who Christ is our King who's coming this Christmas and that your trust in him can grow so that he can provide more and more for you. Jesus told St. Faustina that he is only inhibited by a lack of trust. The more we trust in him, the more he can do for us. And so we ask him to grow our trust and to, like St. Peter said, Lord, we believe, help our unbelief, right? Lord, we trust, please grow our trust, help, help us to um, really become perfect in trust of your power in your 